Good evening everybody and uh, welcome to the video and in this video essentially I'll be talking about how to set up DynamoDB as a lock table for Apache hoodie. So when multiple writers are involved right uh, we're gonna use DynamoDB as a lock table right. So how to do that uh, this is gonna be a hands-on demo uh, so let's get started. By the way before we get started Apache hoodie supports various uh, functionality for example incremental queries right uh, for example um, insert updates delete right time travel right snapshot queries and much much more uh, it also has ways uh, you know supported ways for concurrency control so let me show you how to correctly configure your apache hoodie um, python code to use dynamodb as a lock table so let's get started okay so i'll share my screen uh, hopefully you guys can see my screen um, again uh, the information is available on the documentation, but let me show you a hands-on session, okay? So I'll collapse everything and try to explain you in a very easy way. Okay, so over here on line one to line 18, we are essentially defining all the imports. We are defining AWS Glue, PySpark, etc., etc., etc. Over here, I'm defining my hoodie database, hoodie table name, the data lake path, right? Uh, that's the data lake path. Um, then here I'm defining my Spark session. This 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 is a function that's gonna return me a Spark instance. Uh, then here is what I wanna actually cover. So uh, here I have defined my record field key that is employee ID, uh, table name. The method is absurd. Uh, the one that I wanna cover is this part that is for the DynamoDB. Again, I have seen a lot of people really struggling with these settings, so hence I decided to make a video on that. So hoodie write concurrency mode, you have to set this to optimistic concurrency control. Hoodie cleaner policy uh, failed writes, set that to lazy. Uh, after that, uh, here you have to provide the class for DynamoDB based lock provider here, right? So I'm doing that on the line one or two. Uh, here is the DynamoDB table name, hoodie log table. Again, this DynamoDB table does not exist. Uh, hoodie will create this table for you. This is the partition key. This is the region. Um, I'm, I'm gonna create my Dynamo in US West 2. Uh, paper request. And again, uh, these are some of the default settings. And these settings are available. Uh, if you read the documentation carefully, they have given, you know, uh, here is with the zookeeper, hive meta store log. Here, DynamoDB, right? So these are the settings that you want to put right now here I am creating a spark data frame and I'm essentially writing that into the hoodie table right here I'm simulating an append operation on the Apache hoodie data lake right so this is gonna be append and then here I'm essentially updating record number three okay so let's copy the code uh, let's head over to AWS glue I'm gonna paste everything here uh, quickly walk over the settings here. I'm using glue 4.0 uh, the type as spark and Then the only setting that you need to enable is these uh, these item here. So data lake formats as hoodie The conf this is gonna be the conf again. I'll share the PDF where this is given and here. I'm using a library called faker Heading over to uh, the DynamoDB if you observe I do not have a currently a table uh, for hoodie, right? So I don't have one and then um, I don't have any glue database, right? Uh, and then I want to show you the S3. And then we'll start the job and see this in action, okay? So hopefully if I go to... Again, I don't have any folder for hoodie, okay? So now let's start the glue job, okay? Uh, please note, uh, you know, I have also imported Boto3 here, right? Again, um, and then here um, I'm creating a session object and then here I'm grabbing the region name, okay? If you already have an existing DynamoDB table, you can provide the table name, but um, again, if you um, if the table does not exist, Hoodie will create it for you, okay? So let's see this, okay? So I'm gonna head over to the script section. I'm gonna click on save. So my job has been saved. And then uh, I will run the job. So here you can see my job is in the running state. And if I head over to DynamoDB, I should see the DynamoDB table uh, created shortly. Again, we'll wait for a couple of seconds. Usually the first thing that it's, it's going to do is, you know, it's going to uh, configure all the settings for us. And then here I should see a DynamoDB table coming in shortly. So I'm refreshing. 
the job is still in the running state again this is your standard operation that we are doing on the data lake right insert update delete etc 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 right uh, so i'm gonna wait uh, let's go to DynamoDB, refresh. So far, I don't see the table yet, so let's wait. Has been about 20 seconds so far, so 47 seconds. Again, I'm in Oregon, uh, US West 2, uh, just an FI, I am in the US West 2 region, okay? Here you can see automatically now I see a DynamoDB table. Uh, it is called hoodie lock table. I did not create that. Hoodie essentially made this table for me as you can see now. Now if I go to the table and I quickly click on explore, I don't see any data. Here you can see now um, there is some entry here by Apache hoodie, right? Uh, my glue job is still in the running state as you can see. So now you can leverage, you know, um, DynamoDB as a lock table for Apache hoodie, right? if you have multiple writers who is gonna write uh, into the data lake, right? So it is running and here you can see, I still have that record. Uh, here I can see a partition key as key. We have a least duration. Uh, we have an owner name, uh, that's an IP and the record uh, version number, okay? Uh, so my job is still running. Once the job is complete, uh, I think this record should also um, go away. So this record would be deleted by Apache Hori, right? Um, so now if I refresh here, if I refresh on the DynamoDB, so that record is gone, looks like uh, it did delete that. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go to uh, my data lake and here if I refresh, uh, I see a folder called hoodie table. And here you can see, uh, here is my parquet file, that is a data file, here is the metadata. And if I go to the glue console, I if I refresh here, I, I, I should see a database here shortly. Uh, let me see what was the name I added. I forgot the name that I put. So this would be hoodie DB and the table name would be hoodie table, okay? So the job is still running. So I'm still gonna wait uh, for the job to complete. Once the job is complete, I should be seeing a database in the glue, um, okay? So if I come here, here you can see, now I see a database called hoodie DB and here you can see hoodie table. Now, uh, I should be able to query this data uh, at this point, right? So I can go to Athena and run my ad hoc queries on my Apache hoodie transaction lake, right? So I can come from the drop downs like this, click on preview. And uh, uh, as you can see, right, uh, I see my data here, right? So I have, um, you know, the first 11 records and then I should be seeing an update on record number three, right? So, I mean, I'm just gonna quickly do an auto buy here. Okay, and we'll run this. Again, my glue job is still running. So I'm assuming at this point, uh, the append operation might be happening and then the update based on the code that I had. So if we come here, it's still in the running state. So now I have essentially just ordered everything so I can see everything in a nice way. So I have like nine records and um, once the job is complete, I should see 11 and 12 as an append operation. So if I go to the code section here, so the first 10 record is gonna be an overwrite, then I'm doing an append operation 11 and 12, and then I'm doing an update operation. And then again, we are using DynamoDB as a lock table as well. So here, still running, let's see the DynamoDB, nothing in here, it's good. That's my S3 data lake. I have an extra file, a parquet file here, uh, coming to uh, Athena to run arrow queries now on the data lake. Um, so here you can see uh, we have an append now, right? And now I think the last code that's gonna run is an update. So this code uh, did run successfully and now it's gonna update record number three on my data lake. So this record, this will be changed to this is updated, right? This is basically a complete full CRUD operation, right? And I'm using cow here, uh, that is copy on write. You can also opt for a more table as well uh, in Apache hoodie. Um, again, running. So this should be done in a second or two, but hopefully what I really wanted to show you is, let me quickly switch my sc screen. What I really actually wanted to show you is how to use DynamoDB as a lock table for Apache hoodie, right? I actually was struggling. I did post on the GitHub. Um, again, 
uh, we have a wonderful community and you know people are always ready to help all you have to do is post you have to ask questions and you have to try things out uh, so i hope this video was useful for people who are struggling with um, you know uh, locks how to you know use dynamo db as a lock table with apache hoodie and i think my job is also complete at this point uh, success uh, successful uh, quickly just gonna run uh, uh, a query on athena and i should see an update operation as well now so if i come here uh, here you can see this is an update right so complete uh, you know uh, insert update delete um, and we use dynamo db as our lock table as well so this is how you're gonna use it i'll leave the code in the description section below so if needed you guys can go try this out i would say watching wouldn't really help trying things will help so take out some time in the evening late evening and try these labs out okay just try a hello world try creating a data like try inserting try updating try deleting stuff that's how you're gonna learn Thank you so much and uh, if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments and as I said, uh, Apache hoodie is truly amazing, it's open source and has all the features that you are looking for in an ideal data lake. Thank you so much for watching, if you have any more questions, list your questions and I'll see you guys in the upcoming next video.